So on our previous episode, we talked about five things, five mistakes that I made in my 20s and the way forward. In today's episode, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be discussing seven healthy habits that changed my life in my 20s, that changed the way I look at people in general, my relationship with my partner, and of course, people around me, my career as well, and hoping that any of these points that I list in this video is going to be of help to you. So without further ado, let us jump into the Hey guys, how are you doing? Happy New Year! Welcome to 2023. My name is Williard and this is Williard's World and Eric. So as I said in the intro, the first healthy habit that has helped me a lot. <sighs> Can you guess? One, two, three, planning. I know you've heard this countless number of times, but you see the first step to being able to plan is to identify the kind of person you are. I have identified myself as someone who's chaotic. Sometimes I think that I'm able to multitask but I have realized I'm really, really bad at concentrating on a lot of things at a lot of times or at the same time. And one thing that has helped me is getting my plans down in paper. So thanks, of course, to my papa boo, my partner, who saw this problem from afar or saw that it was a challenge to me and then spoke with me and we came to a conclusion or I finally got to know the kind of person I am and I have ever since started to jot down things in a book. Now this is not even a new book, this is an old notepad that I got but you could get yourself a new slit. This is the time to start new, I know, <laughs> new year, new goals and start jotting down your points. I find it that this helps me to be able to accomplish tasks one by one and know where I am standing. So yeah, I definitely hope that you will check on this number one and maybe inculcate that into your routine. Now, the second point for me is definitely the word routine. Yeah, after you plan, I find out that when I wake up, and I don't have a specific routine, my day is so chaotic, guys. So having a routine, knowing what I want to do, which is then my plan that I have, helps me to reflect and know, okay, number one is when I wake up this morning, I don't want to take my phone as the first thing. I want to go into the bathroom, have, a, have some quiet time, or I want to... Um, first of all, brush my teeth, I want to clean, I want to call this person, I want to make that appointment. And so when you have your things planned and when you have a routine, it helps you to be more productive. And that is, that is basically what this video is about, about increasing our productivity with our healthy habits that we have. Now, the number three thing on my list is definitely something that might sound really funny to you. Yeah, taking a cold shower. Guys, especially those of us who live in the diaspora or in Europe um, where you have heaters. I mean, back home in Ghana, I used to bath with cold water every day. No matter the time, whether it was morning or evening, I would bath with cold water but since i came abroad i always use warm water to bath the last time i just mistakenly put on the cold shower and guys i felt something i haven't felt for a long time it just it just sent me back to my childhood and it made me feel so relieved so good can you imagine taking cold shower at 5 a.m or before you go to work or after you get back from work that is something that helps you so much with stress i don't know if it's scientifically proven but guys ever since i started doing that i have reduced a lot of stress and take this from me this is someone who goes to work early and has a baby <laughs> so yeah i think you want to add that cold water from your head to your toes 
it helps you relax after a hard day of work and that's one thing i have inculcated into my you know daily life now the number four thing is creating a budget i know we all talk about this on a subtle note about creating a budget saving but um, I've always just spoken about it, but never implemented it. Suddenly, at the end of last year, getting into this year, I started taking budgeting and saving more seriously. And I have even gone ahead to take the advice from my partner, which is Eric, and created an Excel sheet where I can have an overview about my expenditure and my income. And that has made me to be conscious of what I'm giving out and how much I'm left with. I don't want to be living hand to mouth. The goal is to be financially stable. And that, my dears, is something that has improved my life. Not big, but it's the little steps that get us to the big steps. Now, the number five thing on my list is accepting feedback. Um, sometimes uh, when people give us, it could either be a, a criticism or it could be a positive feedback, but not everyone is um, open to feedback, I have noticed. And that's something that I am now open to. What's important to me is the way you give your feedback. Giving the feedback isn't the problem, it's the way you give it. So yeah, I have learned to accept feedback and definitely work myself. Because as a person, you can't see you. People who are outside can see you. So it's always good to ask people, what do you think about me? Ask that question more often and work on the answers that you get. Um... The number six thing that I inculcated into my daily routine or habits that is helping me is definitely not following trends. <laughs> this one will step on a couple of toes, but I do not care because that's my opinion. Um, you see, sometimes, not sometimes, I see a lot of influencers, they're all using the same glass or they're all buying the same jackets. I mean, there's nothing wrong when something is nice, but don't buy things. I don't buy things. I would not say don't, I'm talking about me. I would not buy things because a lot of people are buying it. I will buy it if it's practical to me, if I like it and need it at the time, but not because other people are using it. So yeah, that's something that is helping me. Now, um, the number seven thing that has improved my life greatly is taking some me time. Now the me time can be listening to music you like, spending time with yourself, um, reading a book, just find an activity that, that makes you happy. So you see some people, they work 12 hour shifts, some people, they work from morning to evening, um, and they might say they don't have time to do it. But this little habit that you would inculcate, even if you don't have the time, you could just tell yourself, this 30 minutes, I'm going to use it to do something really nice for myself. And that has improved my life so much. And I am hoping that E7 Tips is going to be of great help to you. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. If any of the points were helpful to you or there are things that you have already been doing, please don't forget to leave it in the comment section. And if you have any more you want to add to the list, feel free, go ahead. I'm ready to listen. Till I see you again in the next video. Thanks for staying tuned. This has been Williams World and Eric. Good night, guys.